Hello, this is Math uh, 6, Lessons 4-4, four four, Write and Solve Multiplication and Division Equation. In this lesson, we will be able to write and solve a multiplication or division equation. Let's look at solve and discuss it. The school group is planning a trip to New York City. There are 29 people going on the trip. They agree to share the total cost of the trip equally. Let S be equal each person's share of the cost. What is each person's share of the cost? Let's look at um, the information. The group bus trip um, has bus costing $7,830 total, hotels costing $10,034 total, meals costing $812 total. And special events tickets uh, is $435. So total $19,111 were spent altogether. And they all agreed that they're gonna share this total cost equally. So we're looking at, we're looking at the total cost. We're not looking, we're not dividing at individual cost. We're looking at the final cost um, by, by how many people there were on the trip. In total, there were 29 people. So we're going to divide the total divided by 12. Okay. So 1911 divided by 12, you can use long division to answer this question. Let's divide 19,111 by 12. There's one, 12 and 19. You have 71. Wait, I'm sorry, not 12. We're doing 29, right? So 29. 29 people. I don't know where I got 12 from. Um, so 19,111 divided by 29 is, when you look at 191, how many 29 go in there? 629, six times 29 is 174. Subtract it, you get, um, You get 17 and then put 11 down, put one down, keep track of how many ones you have, okay? Um, 29 goes into 171 five times, okay? 145 subtracted, you get 26 and then one, the last one comes down. How many 29s goes into 261? You get exactly nine. So we have no remaining. So it's equally divided perfectly by 659. So each person is going to pay 659. Okay. How can you use what you know about dividing lesser numbers to write equations and solve problems involving greater numbers? You already know how to divide by using long division. Okay, so do it one by one. Let's look at focus on math practices. Can you use the same strategy that you used above to find each person's share of the hotel bill? Yes, how would you do that? We got a hotel, $10,034. We're gonna divide that equally uh, to see each person's share of the total B, right? So let's explain. Yes, you can divide $10,034 by 29. 
and get 346. Each person's share of the total, share of the, ho the total hotel bill is 346. Okay. Let's look at the next page. We're going to think about how we can write and solve a multiplication or division equation in this lesson. Example one, write and solve a multiplication equation. Juan charged the same amount for each painting. How much did he charge for each painting? So if you, if he charged the same amount, and he sold three paintings for a total of $45. You can divide that equally by three. These are some nice paintings, by the way, okay? So you're gonna divide 45 by three, and that's 15. And if you wanna understand why, if you don't understand why, think about the bar diagram and think about the balance, okay? You have 45 and you want to divide that equally into three and you don't know what this X is, but the weight has to be the same. Okay, 15 plus 15 plus 15 would be 45. So the weight would balance, okay? Um, using the bar diagram, you divide 45 equally by three and figure out uh, how each bar would, would be equivalent to. Okay, let's look at the try question. Teresia picked the same number of tomatoes each day. In four days, she picked 52 tomatoes. How many tomatoes did Teresia pick each day? So we're gonna let N represent the number of tomatoes Teresia picked each day. So we have the equation for N equals 52. And if we divide both sides by four, we wouldn't change the equation. So if we divide four, 52 by four, n is equal to 13. Okay, so if you have four n, a constant times n, you can divide by that constant to just get one n. Teresia picked 13 tomatoes each day. All right, convince me, which property of equality can you use to solve Teresia's equation? What do we use? This is the, we divided four, so this is the division property of equality. Okay, explain, because we divided both sides by four. Four. All right, example two on the next page. Write and solve for the dividend in a division equation. The 15 members of the adventure club go on a group underwater diving trip. Student groups receive a special rate on snorkeling tickets that is half off the daily rate. Write and solve an equation to find T, the total cost of snorkeling tickets. Look at the information. Student group rate is 50% uh, off or half off uh, $79 ticket. So if you go by yourself, you don't get the student group rate, but if you go as a student, um, you get 50% off. And the original price is $79, okay? So how much would the total cost of snorkeling tickets uh, be if 15 people are going? Okay, so if you divide 79 divided by two, you get 39.50. And if you multiply that by 15, you get the total cost, which is 592.5. The total cost of snorkeling tickets is $592.5. Example three. Write and solve for the divisor in a division, division equation. Helen puts 2,292 stickers in an album. Each page in the album holds 24 stickers. How many pages, T, did Helen fill? So 
So write an equation. 24 stickers for each page, which, uh, which is P times P, should be total of 2,292. And then you divide each side by 24. So that you get P is equal to 95. So she filled 95 album pages total. Let's try the question. Megan is reading a 630 page book. She reads 18 pages each day. Write, so write an equation and solve a division equation to find the number of days. D, it'll take Megan to finish her book. So think about the relationship. She has a total of 630 page book. And then she reads 18 pages every day. So 18 times how many uh, days she read, right? Um, and if you finish the book, how many pages do you have total? Zero, you wanna get zero pages total, right? Or you can write the equation in terms of D. Every day she finish, she reads 630 divided by 18. Right? Because if you read 18 every day, you divide 630 by 18 to see how many total days it'll take for her to completely read the whole book, okay? And so, so that's really 18 days, and that's also equal to 18 days is equal to six, uh, 18 times the number of days would be the total 630 pages. Okay, so if you have the first one, second equation, or the third equation, totally fine. Okay, just solve for the number of days. What's 630 divided by 18? 18. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. 35. Yes, so the answer is 35 days. Okay, it takes... 35 days for her to read the whole page. 630 page book is a really big book and it takes her a little bit more than a month to read it. So what do we learn in this, in this lesson? You can multiply or divide both sides of an equation by the same number and it will still remain balanced. It's the division property and the multiplicative property of equality. So in this lesson, we talked about how to write and solve multiplication and division equations. Let's continue the next, next lesson in the next video. Bye.